So this question comes from Cody W. Um, my question is, what is the best programming language to learn first if you have no experience programming? Also wanted to know if you have a programming book or two that you could send me. I learn better with books. Well, let's take this question in two parts. The first, nice, kind, happy part, and the second, snarky, nasty, mean part, right? Okay, so the first part of this question is basically, what is the best programming language to learn? first. And here is what I am going to tell you. Asking that question, especially with anybody that knows knows how to program, is, is one of those things that everybody will give you a different answer. Now, personally, personally, I would say go for PHP. I think PHP is the best programming language to learn first. The reason is, is you can, uh, all you need is a little web hosting account in order to be able to do the programming of PHP. You can use a Linux computer, you can use a Mac computer, you can use a Windows computer. Basically, all you really need is Notepad. If you have Notepad or basically any kind of ASCII editor and you have some kind of hosting account that supports PHP, you can start learning PHP. It is relatively easy. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need anything powerful. I mean, literally, you could take a 14-year-old computer and start learning uh, PHP off of it. The other thing is, is it has a lot of functionality uh, that most of the other programming languages have, such as, you know, you declare variables, you do if-else statements, you do while, you do the whole nine yards. So I like PHP beyond uh, the simple fact that uh, you don't need anything powerful to be able to run it um, is that is actually useful in the real world. So if you go out and you start messing around with any of the uh, major open source programs that are available, many of them that you're going to be dealing with are written in PHP. So if you deal with WordPress, if you deal with Drupal, if you download most of these little open source web apps uh, from the internet, they are built in PHP. So not only when you learn PHP can you program something, but you can start to go in and hack other things. And so I find that to be a very, very, very useful useful thing. Um, so that's my thought. Basically, you grab a book like this, you sit down with this book, and in a week or two, you can be creating PHP programs that actually do something real in the world. If you're really motivated, um, I would argue that within two weeks, you can go out there and you can start selling little PHP programs. Because it's really, it's one of those things that not only is it easy to use, but it is very functional, is very useful with, with taking data and taking it from one place and dumping it into the other place. Now, if you go out and talk with other people, other people will have other opinions. You know, my buddy Ed Mullen, uh, who does a lot of development, he always says C sharp is a good way to go. The reason he says C sharp is a good way to go is that there's a lot of enterprise jobs out there. Again, that's not my favorite. If you talk with uh, any of the hipsters, Ruby, Ruby on Rails is massive in the hipster community. So if you're going to be dealing with any kind of like startup environment, like you want to create the next Facebook, you might take a look at Ruby. If you want to do mobile app development, you would take a look at something like Swift. You know, there are a lot of different options out there. I would argue personally, I think PHP is the best. PHP is something you can learn very quickly. And what I like with PHP is you can learn it so quickly that by the end of it, again, after about two weeks, if you decide it isn't for you, you can then go and learn Swift. And then you can go and learn C Sharp. You can learn these other things. And by that time, you already know what variables are. You already know what functions are. You already know a lot of these basic concepts. Um, and so I think it's better all the way around. So go for PHP. If you want to learn PHP, um, I, I like the bunny books. Uh, these are written by this guy called Larry Ullman, L-A-R-R-Y-U-L-L-M-A-N, Visual Quick Start Guides. And again, PHP for the web. Uh, this is the fourth edition. They might be up to the fifth edition now. Uh, so then the question comes up. Also, I wanted to know if you have a programming book or two that you could send me. I'm sorry. Are we buddies? <laughs> Do I do 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 I know you, boy? Um, no, I don't have any programming books that I am going to send you, and you should not just randomly ask those kind of things because because we are not friends, we are not buddies. Begging from people in this fashion is just not a good thing. If you really want to know programming, you can figure out how to come up with the, uh, what is this thing, the $39 for this book. If you go to Amazon.com, you can get it for a lot less. One of the things that I really tell you guys again and again and again is... You know, whenever you get into the technology field, um, whether or not you'll be successful in this field, it really comes down to discipline and motivation and being able to get stuff done. Uh, so if you don't have the ability
ability to get 25 or 30 bucks together uh, in order to, to, to buy a programming book, um, you probably are not going to be successful in this field, no matter how smart you are, no matter how anything else you are, because basically, again, you have to be willing to go out and basically get her done. Now, if you don't have any money to buy a book that I'm not going to send you, please stop asking for that kind of crap. Um, uh, you can go to websites such as codeacademy.com. Codeacademy.com has uh, programming tutorials, or if you just simply uh, Google search like PHP tutorial on Google, there will be a lot of free things available. Uh, so you can go from there. So I would argue PHP, uh, if you need a free service, go to the internet and find it. If you need a book, buy one. Again, if you can't come up with 20 or 30 bucks to buy a book, this just ain't the field for you.